this is another month of what would you make and we have thanksgiving inspiration so cue the intro well hello my beautiful people welcome back to my channel if you're returning and if you are new welcome to you as well this is christine so let's get crafting for our first inspiration i'll be using this furniture wood applique i got this from plaid and i am and this is real wood so I'll, i'm not going to be doing much we'll also be using this scrapbooking paper some of these maple leaves i picked up from the dollar tree this pack of gather sign i picked that up from dollar general and we're only going to be using one so i painted that with some true burgundy i just placed it on a piece of paper just so it doesn't move around while i paint and i gave that two good coats and after it dried, I applied some Mod Podge because we're doing our Mod Podge before we actually put this on. So next, I took the same cardboard that the applique came in because that is going to serve as my backing. So I just cut off the excess using an X-Acto knife. And then I took my scrapbook paper and I'm measuring and it actually is a little bit shorter than the cardboard but that is an easy fix we're gonna just join the excess so I place the cardboard on the paper and just cut that out and then here we have our two pieces so I'm now using some school glue to apply my Cards, this is not cardstock, my scrapbooking paper to the cardboard and I turned that inside. I used the back of the cardboard, the section that has the writing, I used that for the inside and I just glued the paper on top of that because the clear part of the, of the, of the cardboard, that is going to be the back of my sign. So next I took a piece of jute cord and I'm just measuring the distance that I need to glue this down. And I'm going to glue that down onto the paper before I place the applique on top of that. Just so the knot or the end of this of the jute cord is not showing when you turn this around. And I also added some beads I had these beads in my stash, so I added four of them, two natural and two green. And after I glue the jute down, I'm now using some fix it all glue to seal this or to glue this down as well as some hot glue. And I went all the way around, just making sure that this was tightly glued down and whatever excess was peaking at the end, I use the X-Acto knife to remove that. And with my gather sign painted, I am going to use the school, not the school glue, the, ex, the fix it all glue, as well as a little hot glue to glue that down on top of the sign. Right in the middle, And now it's time to embellish. Well, no, before I embellished, I took a white marker. This is from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going around the edge of the gather sign to just highlight that, just so it doesn't look too flat on the board. And now it's time to embellish. Here I'm using my maple leaf. I cut two pieces off. And I'm just blasting it with some heat and that's just to get all of the wrinkles out and to make the leaves straight now I have both pieces four pieces in total I'm going to use a piece of jute and just connect those in the middle to make a little swag and if you notice the colors of the leaves uh, blending with the color on the scrapbook paper as well as the gather sign. So 
So I'm gonna glue that at the top left corner. I just use a little hot glue, glue that down. And now I'm going to make a little bow, tailless bow. This ribbon came from the Dollar Tree and it is wired. So I just need a little piece. So I just fold that, cut that off. And then I'm going to glue down the ends with a little hot glue. Scrunch that up in the middle and use a piece of another piece to cover the jute core that I'm going to use to tie tie the bow. Well, no, I didn't tie I didn't use jute cord. <laughs> I cut another piece, glued down the ends, just folded the ends in on itself, glue that down, and that is what I'm using to put around the bow, the middle of the bow. And like I said, this is tailless, so this won't have any tails. And then I just fluff that up and I'm going to glue that in the middle of my leaves to hide that jute right there. It still needed something else, so I took a little burlap bow and glued that on top of the tailless bow. And that's about it for this one. My friends, let me know what you think. Oh, the string was too long, so what I did, I just grab it, created two loops, and tie the two loops together. So here it is, let me know what you think. And you'll see more of this in the final reveal. This is What Would You Make, a monthly challenge that is hosted by Brenda from Rustic and Lace DIY, myself, Christine from Divine Design, and every month we have a guest host, and this month our guest host is Lisa with Crafting My Best Life with Lisa. Links to all of our channels will be in the description box below as well as the playlist, make sure to go down and check that out. I got this sign from Dollar General and initially I thought that this DIY would have been just so easy. So I took my black paint pen and I painted the word thankful that is on the sign. And I'm just gonna, I was just gonna paint this black of course and do some embellishment but then no my mind went a different direction so i had the brilliant idea of just taking some waverly celery and just painting over that design that was already there which is paper and then it wasn't going or it wasn't coming out as i envisioned it so i just decided to remove the sign carefully remove the sign and soaked off the paper and I did that off camera because this Waverly Celery paint, it wasn't working on top of the paper. Now this is what it looks like after I soaked and scraped that off. And then I went for my trusted multi-surface paint in Pueblo. And this is what it looks like. Love this already. So these little acorn I got in a pack from Dollar General as well. So because this is round, in order for it to, to fit on the surface, I had to cut that in two. And now I'm deciding, do I need one on e a piece at either end or I need both of them together? So while I decide in my mind where I need to place that, I took a piece of this ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to make a tailless bow. So I just measured what I wanted a small amount maybe two inches and just cut that off and just like i did for the bow in the first diy i just applied some hot glue at one end and then fold over the other end on top of that and then i just crunch that up in the middle i did use a piece of jute cord to tie this and then cut another piece of the ribbon folded that in two and just wrap that around the jute in the middle and that's to hide it and then just take a little hot glue and glue that down and we have another tailless bow guys i do have a video that i'm going to be posting next week that i show you how i make a bow and i, I believe you're gonna love that so here i'm now back to the acorn trying to decide do i need both at one end or both at either end so I settled with both at either end. Then I took the fix it all glue, applied that to my thankful sign and glued that down. And then I glue my acorn down. 
now I glue my ribbon down or my bow down first and I realized now that the acorn at both end would not work so I glue them both at one end on the left hand side and to further embellish this I got some little greenery I just cut off two little pieces and just glue them on top of the bow and that's it for this one let me know what you think I think I love this one I love how the ribbon just pulls all of the colors in together and you will see more of this one in the final reveal and now we're on to our third inspiration this is another dollar general fine I got this for 50 cents I removed the sticker at the back removed the jute for hanging or the hanging cord and peeled off the paper initially and then just spread that down with some water and set it aside to soak so I could soak the paper off is this your first time to my channel I thank you so much for coming over on this channel we do lots of budget friendly crafting if budget friendly crafting is your jam then you're in the right place I would really love if you subscribe just hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new content and like share as well because action like those suggest to YouTube that you enjoy the content and they would recommend it to more viewers like yourself so now it's soaked I took my spatula and I'm just scraping that off the excess paper and this is what it looks like when I was done now I gave that two coats of apple barrel acrylic white paint and now I'm going to uh, what am I doing okay so this I got a piece of sponge and I'm just building a little sponge dabber or dapper or dabber what you you want to call it, your little sponge thing in my jig so I just cut a, a hole in the middle and that little uh, round wood thing that came off the little sponge applicator from the Dollar Tree. You don't throw those things out. And here I made myself a, a little sponge thingamajig. This is a thank, grateful, thankful, grateful sign. I got this from Timu, I believe. And I'm only going to use the middle section that says grateful. So I'm applying some Mod Podge because I don't want the paint to bleed. That just helps a little bit. It not, it's not necessary, but it helps to prevent your paint from bleeding. So I'm placing this off to the side, closer to the right side. I don't want it directly in the middle. I cover the section that I did not want the paint to get on. Now I took this paint folk art, I don't, I can't see the, I think it's conch shell, I believe. And I just thought that it's the first time I'm using the, the paint, so I didn't know exactly what shade I would get. So there I am with my sponge dabber, just dabbing on the paint through my stencil. And when I peeled it up, or before I peeled it up, I realized, no, that don't look too right. So here I am with my trust. I told you that this paint is very trusty. My multi-surface Pueblo. And I just went over that with the Pueblo and, and that gave me better results. And this is what it looks like. Now those openings where your stencil joint, I don't like those. So I took a small paint brush and I'm just painting out those areas just so it doesn't look so disjointed. And now it's time to embellish. I got this bunch of floral from Walmart. Love it. And I only want one little petal, so I took that off. I have these rub-on transfers. Uh, these are the fall rubber and transfers from Dollar Tree. I've had this in my stash forever. So I just selected some and just cut those down, rub them on at the far right corner. And now I'm applying some Mod Podge to the surface using my same brush. I brush that. I wash that out carefully. And I'm just going over the board with the Mod Podge 
especially the areas where I rubbed on those transfers. And now it's time to embellish some more. I got this little pick leaves and there I put my petal on top of the leaves and this ribbon I found in my stash that was already made, not ribbon, bow, a messy bow that was already made. I took some little pieces of boxwood pick, glued those down in the middle there before I glued my bow down. And of course I'm not done yet. <laughs> These little flower petal came in a pack of three three packs I got from Shane and I'm just selecting some that are closely to the colors that we have on our little sign and just glue them right in the middle. They were all not the same colors but I went as close as possible. This is what it looks like and I replaced the string but I fed it from the front to the back and then I took another flower petal and just forced that in the hole where the jute cord was but when I tried to hang it it was topsy-turvy so I replaced the jute and fed it in the other direction and you'll see more of that in the final reveal all right so this next inspiration is not really wood or it's not wood but I just could not resist this little cute Thanksgiving Dollar Tree calendar page. So that's what I'll be making. So I selected my page from my Dollar Tree calendar and it says, let's gather and give thanks. And it has this uh, full wood border, which is perfect. So I'm going to use the cardboard that came inside the calendar as well as another piece, which was a little too short, but I measured and cut off another piece so I could have that joined. And then I'm using my fix it all glue and I'm going to place the other piece of cardboard on top of this, as well as some hot glue, as you can see. <laughs> so I place that on top and that little piece that was hanging off that also got another piece that was joined and it was a little too long so I took the exacto knife and removed that excess and now we have our piece so now the section that has the join that is the side that I'm going to be using for the calendar so I got this adhesive spray from the Dollar Tree which I have not used in ages so I just spray that on the cardboard, place the calendar page on top of that. And there were some little ends that needed a little bit more adhesion. So I just went with the school glue for that. Use the heat to just reactivate that spray underneath. And then it's not wise to be using my hand with the heat gun. So I went with the parchment paper and the heat press. And there was a little piece that was hanging over. I just took the X-Acto knife and cut that off. I just want to pause here and tell my subscribers, guys, thank you so much for your support. It is truly appreciated. I feel like I've gotten to know a lot of you personally. And that is based on the back and forth commenting that we do on each video. So I appreciate you all. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. So now after I've done that part, it's time to embellish this a little more. I took some of this cord. I got this from Timu. I've had this for a while. And I want to just cover up that space that the cardboard is showing. So I'm just taking a little glue, hot glue, glue down one end of the cord. And then I'm going all the way around until I got back to the next end. And then I just took the lighter and burn off those little fuzzies to give this a finished look. And because the graphic on this is spread so far, I took my, my pick from Walmart and I'm just selecting a few leaves that blends in with the color on the graphic. This ribbon I got from the Dollar Tree. Now you don't need a lot of embellishment on here. I just made a small bow just scrunch that up in the middle and tie the jute cord around that and I'm going to use that to cover up right where the hole on the the calendar page is 
So after I made my bow and cut off my leaves from my pick, I just glued that down, the leaves first, and then the bow on top of that. After I dovetailed, or not dovetail, but just trim down the ends a little bit, glue that down, and then I'm going to flip this over and just use a piece of the core, the same core that I used earlier, to glue on for my for my for the hanger. And I took a little piece of canvas and just cover the end of the jute. And that's it for this one, my friends. Let me know what you think about these four Thanksgiving DIY projects today. Here we are for the final reveal. If you've made it to the end of the video, you're a rock star. I thank you so much for hanging around. Let me know which one was your favorite. I believe this one, the gather sign with the furniture applique, is my favorite. The little thankful sign is also beautiful. Let me know, guys, which one was your favorite. Be sure to check out Brenda's channel and Lisa's channel as well as the playlist that is chock full of wood inspiration DIYs for you. And if this is your first time, make sure to subscribe before you leave. And if you'd like to follow me on social media, scan that QR code or check my description box for my Linktree address. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more budget-friendly content, I suggest this video right here or this playlist. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Stay safe, my friends, until my next one. Bye!